very good morning friends so today we'll see problems on the projection of lines so let us take this problem a line ab 80 mm long as its end a 20 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp it is inclined at 30 degree to hp and 45 degree to vp draw the projections of the line and find apparent length and apparent inclination so we need to determine what is the apparent length in the front view as well as in the top view and also apparent inclination in the front view as well as top view so in this problem true length is given of 80 mm uh, long and uh, is saying end a is 20 mm above hp and uh, 30 mm in front of vp that is end a and it is inclined 30 degree to hp and 45 degree to vp that is true inclination with respect to hp and vp is given that is 30 degree and 40 degree so how do you solve this problem how do you construct uh, the projection of uh, projection of uh, lines so this problem uh, is uh, belongs to a uh, line is inclined both hp and vp let us see how to solve this problem i will open the solid edge v20 software the first step is we need to do the sheet setup just right click on sheet go to sheet setup select uh, a4 remove show background option save as default okay and uh, fit the sheet so now this is my a4 size sheet so now we need to construct the drawing we need to construct the drawing within this a4 size sheet let us construct uh, x y line select the line and the thickness is uh, we need to select the thin line let us take thickness is 0.13 mm so now i'm constructing a line say this is my x y line horizontal x y line and uh, go for text say we'll go to text and uh, here select uh, times new room and uh, this is my x and this is my y just type x and y and uh, hold the left button and place it here and select y hold the left button and place it here so this is x and y so it lies in the first quadrant so mention vp and hp so again go to text times new room uh, let us take a font size is 3.50 mm just type this is vp and this is hp so now this is my vp vertical plane and uh, this is my hp horizontal plane so it lies like this so now let us uh, locate point a say so point a is or end a is 20 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp let us construct a point a let us construct the end a 20 mm above hp just i'll select a line very thin line i'll construct one line like this just my reference line similarly i'll construct one more line just below the x y line this is also my reference line and this dimension should be Uh, as per the given so here point i will locate point a in the uh, front view here and point a i will locate in the top view so their distances are given that is 20 mm by hp so go to small dimensions select x y line and select this line and measure the distance so distance should be 20 mm which is given in the problem so i'll make it 20 next uh, with respect to in front of vp 30 mm is given again go to small dimension Uh, select the xy line and select this line and that distance should be um, 30 mm in front of vp i will make it 30 mm in front of vp now we need to locate a point a somewhere here okay and also inclination with respect to hp is given and length of the line is also given uh, 30 mm so now go to line should be very thin line select 0.13 mm this is my point a anywhere uh, on this line i'll place point uh, end point of uh, line ab so this is my line uh, point a and that inclination is given say the length is given so length is uh, 80 mm is given length just type length is 80 mm and look at the inclination 0 degree 15 and uh, we need to make it 30 angle is make it 30 just enter exactly come out from the two so this is nda uh, so now i'll go to text just i'll go to text so this is my uh, um, this is my a and this is my b this is the front view so the front view means a dash and b dash so i'll go to text this is my a dash this is my b1 dash this is my a dash this line belongs to a dash 
and this line belongs to b1 dash true length is given and let us go to smart uh, go to this uh, small dimension just measure this distance so this distance is 80 mm which is given in the problem what about angle just go to here angle between you have a, a drop down box go to angle between select this inclination line this horizontal line so that should be 30 degree it is given in the problem okay so similarly similarly i draw a project vertical downward projection line from a dash you will get point a in VT, I will get a point A. Let us see if this is my point A. This is my point A. So now, similarly, in the top view, the true length is 80 mm and inclination angle is 45 degree to VP. Again, let us go to line, it should be thin line 0 0.13 mm. Select uh, point A. So and just enter the length is 80. The angle is just look here. I will uh, move the cursor. This is my point A. Go to line. This is my end point. Length is 80 mm. Total length is given. The angle is uh, see now is zero degree. If you move like this, it's showing negative sign. So we need to enter negative value. So it is minus 45. Minus 45 degree. I will enter. Okay, now come out from this one, from this tool, and go to small dimension. It should be 80. It should be exact 80 degree. Should be 80, and measure the angle. Go to here, drop down angle between. Go to dra drop down, select angle between this line and this line. Go to angle between this line and this line. It should be 45 degree. Okay. And go to our text. Go to text. This is uh, my B1. This is my uh, B1. This is my B1. So now let us construct the locus line. Say, assume this is my uh, from here, I will construct one horizontal reference line. Again, from here, I'll construct horizontal reference line. So here we have horizontal reference line. Here you have horizontal reference line. Go to text. So this one I'll call it as locus of uh, B1 dash. Locus of B1 dash or reference line. This is a locus of A dash. This point I will call it as locus of A dash. This is locus of A. Locus of A and this is locus of B1. Locus of B1. So let us uh, try to complete this problem. So now I will complete this problem. I know true length. So how to find the apparent length in the top view? I know true length in the front view. How to find the apparent length in the top view and their inclination? It's very simple. Just select a line, select a thin line of thickness 0.13 mm. From B1 dash, select the end point of the B1 dash. From here, I'll draw an vertical downward line till uh, locus of A. Till the locus of A. So now, I'll go to arc by center. Go to here, uh, arc by center point. A will, A will be the center. And this is, the, this is my radius. I'll construct the arc like this. So that will intersect. The locus of B1 that will intersect locus of B1. So now I'll go to line. I'll go to line. Select the end in select this intersection point. 
and join with A. So that is the apparent length in the top view. So that should be thick line. It should be visible. Apparent length is visible. It should be thick. So thickness will be 0 0.50 mm. Similarly, similarly, from I know true length in the top view. So how to gain apparent length in the front view? So similarly, I'll go to line thickness 0. Select the thin line from B1. Select the endpoint B1. From B1, I'll draw a vertical upward line uh, till uh, the locus of A dash. So now I will go to arc by center. I will move till I will draw a thicker line till this point. There we go. Wait. We shall cancel this line. I will go to line and select B1 end point. So now I construct the locus line. I will draw a thicker line till uh, this intersection point. Just as there is, I will trim these extra lines. So now I'll go to arc by center. Select A dash is the center, and this will be the radius. So now I'll construct the arc. I'll construct the arc that will intersect locus of B1 dash. So I'll trim the unwanted lines. I don't want this line. I don't want this line. So now go to line, select this intersection point, and join with a dash so it is visible it is apparent length in the front view so i'll make it uh, thickness is 0 0.50 so now what is the name now go to text and this one i'll call it as uh, b dash i'll call it as b dash so a dash b dash is apparent length a dash b1 dash is true length similarly here i'll call it as uh, b i'll call it as uh, b So this is my B. So AB is uh, true length in the top view, and uh, AB1 is so AB is apparent length in the top view. AB1 is uh, true length in the top view. So now the next phase we need to measure what is uh, A dash B dash and what is uh, AB that is given in the problem that is apparent length. So now I'll go to the small dimension. Just select this line and just show. We are getting 56.57 and similarly measure what is the uh, apparent length in the top view. So here I am getting uh, 69.28. I am getting 69.28. So measure the corresponding angles. Go to angle between. Measure this and this. This inclination is uh, I am getting 45 degree. And similarly, measure this and this uh, AB line. So I am getting 55 degree. So now the answer is I'll go to text, I'll go to text, and uh, A dash B dash A dash B dash is equal to uh, 56. 0.57 mm and similarly we have uh, AB AB is equal to uh, 69.28 mm and we need to find what is alpha and beta so alpha is uh, um, apparent inclination in the front view and beta is apparent inclination in the top view so type alpha and beta. So here go to symbol. Keep font size is 3.5. Just uh, click somewhere here and type A in, in the keyboard. So that will be the alpha. So alpha is uh, 45 degree. 45. 45 degree. So again, keep it uh, times neuro. 
and make it degree. 45 degree. Then go to beta. Again, I'll go back to symbol. And uh, beta means press B in your keyboard. So that gives beta. This is equals to. So beta is uh, apparent inclination in the top view. That is uh, 55 degree. So again, if you want to type B degree, go to Times New Rome and uh, use space B degree. So this is the final answer. So we are getting a 56.57 mm. That is the apparent length in the front view. And 69.28, uh, that is apparent uh, length in the top view. And uh, uh, apparent inclination in front view is alpha 45 degree and uh, apparent inclination uh, in the top view that is beta 55 degree. So with this, uh, I completed uh, this problem. So thank you. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Thank you.